Hey, and welcome to the Vergecast for the week of what is the week? Uh, nobody it's a, knows. It's a week in January. I yeah. know that much. Nobody, uh, nobody can know. It's a, I like. I, by the way, I'm seeing the stream here. This thing is like it's like just eyes poking over this. Anyhow, this is the Vergecast for the week of January. I think it's January 16th. Is, that, it. is it based off the Monday or the Sunday? Monday. It's a Monday. Okay, so it's the 16th. It's week of the week of January 16th, 2012. I'm Josh Topolsky. I'm Paul Miller. I'm a guy who has a hair problem. <laughs> you really got a fro. I'm Neilai Patel. He's I'm also Neilai Patel. Yeah. And uh, we're uh, back. Wow, I can't look at this. This is a disturbing. Don't do it. This you know what I was disturbing. saying? If you caught it at the beginning, I was telling him to turn off because there's Time Warner internet. Time Warner. Studio. You know, the good thing about Time Warner is they never get crap from us on the podcast. <laughs> you never hear us go like, what is wrong with Time Warner? They're not cool. So we should say where we are. Uh, so we're in um, so we're in beautiful downtown Las Vegas. We never left. <laughs> Just kidding. We left as soon as possible. Uh, we are in a, our new temporary studios mm. yeah. as we transition. Uh, so this year's been a really weird, crazy. Well, last year was a really weird, crazy year for us, and we um, went through a lot of changes. Our bodies went through a lot of changes, uh, as bodies do. Oh, so that's a later age. I like how your your voice cracked when you said <laughs> our bodies. <laughs> ah. uh, but anyhow, hold on. Let me just take a sip of Pura, my official drink, my official sponsor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we went through mm-hmm. a lot of ethical changes. Well, yeah, we went through. A, <coughs> we said, you know what? I'm not gonna. Uh, I won't take um, a Samsung sponsorship. But if Rienzi Pura wants to pay yeah. my way. So be it. Um, it'd be hilarious if, if they saw this and they were like, wait a second. That's the guy we've been looking for to sponsor our and then sparkling and water. And then their sales spike. Mm. Mm. They should spike because it's very refreshing. Uh, anyhow, um, we went through a lot. We've gone through a lot of changes the past year. You know, we started this new business. What's the matter? Are we off the air? No, I'm, we're on the air. Are we? We're Everyone on the air. Everyone in our right? chat saying we're off the air. How's that possible? Oh, we're back on. What happened? Uh, we went off for a moment. Uh, are you guys, are we on the air? Boy, this is fun. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. We've gone through a lot of changes in the last year, uh, including but not limited to starting a new business, launching a website, uh, bringing on a ton of new team members. I bought a new pair of jeans. Neil, I bought a new pair of jeans. Very tighter at the bottom. Very tight at the bottom. Very tight. Too tight, in <laughs> fact. The way, they, the way they make his angles look is rather obscene. <laughs> Uh, they're tapered. They're, <laughs> I, I bought tapered jeans. <laughs> uh, but uh, but one of the big, one of the biggest. I think I just want to say one of the biggest growing pains we've had is is we really wanted to do a video podcast. Uh, we've never been really strict about the podcast, but we wanted to do a video podcast very badly, and so we've started doing them since we launched the site. And you know, we haven't had our. We haven't had our shit together, really, I have to say. We got pinholes, though. But we got pinholes, and we got a, a, a... It's getting better. Anyhow, we have a new studio now, but we're actually in the midst of looking for a, a big new office for the whole team, uh, and we're going to build out our, our a custom studio there. So this year, we're going to... You'll see um, us get a really nice, beautiful space to do our to do our show in. But for the time being, we're in a uh, this nice, beautiful space uh, where our, our production guys are set up. But, um, you know, we're working on... We started late today. That was not our intention. And we're working on that, so we'll figure it out. I just want to say, like we, you know, the Verge cast uh, was crazy at CES. It's always insane, and um, you know, there were some there were some situations there where we would have would have liked it to be start earlier, to go a little bit smoother, to not have Kelly Pickler start <laughs> jamming in the midst of our thing. But you know, we're working really hard. Like I, we do take this seriously. I, I hope that that you guys, the listener, knows that we really care about doing this for you and we want to make it as good as possible except so. you roby one kenobi oh i do not care on, no I, I love you uh, don't be i just wanted to call out one listener so like, i don't care about but anyhow but but you You're know cool roby one kenobi i disagree i'm not that into you <laughs> but uh, uh uh he's just not that into you and when i say he i'm speaking about myself in the third person <laughs> but um but you know we're working really hard to get this thing straight and good and and great and you know i just want to let you the listener and the viewer know that we are it is a high priority for us so if it, things seem a little like rough around the edges. We're learning. This is new for us. We're it's, it's new for us, and we're also independent, so it's not like we don't have, like, you know, we don't have a studio. There is no studio. Well, except, no, for the one well, except, except for the one we're sitting in. Except for the one we're sitting in now. Studio. No, now I'm saying, but up until but this, today. But this one is new to the point where the Mac Pro editing stations that they just bought, the Styrofoam. Yeah, there's like a pile like of, there's like a the stack sky. of Pyrofoam, a Styrofoam skyscraper. I will say their, their edit stations make me kind of jealous. It's pretty insane. Anyhow, but we should talk about tech news now that I'm done with my um, mea culpa, my, my big apology to the listener slash viewer, whoever they may be. 
I want to load up the Ustream, but do you want to introduce Don't the news? That. Hold on, I have to take a sip of delicious. I can't get the chat to, to load. I have to take a sip of delicious Rienzi Pura for all your refreshment needs. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen anybody gun for an endorsement deal before. I'm just to go after it. I just, you know, I asked for seltzer and I got this. <laughs> so <laughs> I wanted like a Schweppes. <laughs> Schweppes for all your refreshment needs. Nice. Anyway, let's talk about the news. Neilai, what's in the news? Uh, well, we went to an event today. That was kind of the big deal. Could you be more explicit? Uh, well, it was an event where we shared our feelings, uh, and then we met a series of people we that really... might share our common interests, and we had to go from one to one as fast as possible. I don't think we really. Should. I've actually Did never speed? been. This is like speed. Did dating. you have to introduce yourself by name and then yeah. admit something? I mean, I've never been speed dating, so I'm just imagining. Like, is that what it's is like. that what speed dating is? You admit something? No. <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> That's about? Like, so you, I described what I thought was speed dating, and oh. what you took from it was a substance abuse yeah. meeting. No, we go from person to person. Right. Somebody wants me to talk about your hair, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's out of, I've been doing a lot of this I, And today. I thought, you know, it's funny, is like, it, what's incredible about Neilai's hair is that I thought that I was having a pretty bad hair day. Oh, no. no, no, oh, no. So we were in D.C., Neilai and I were in D.C., and we missed our train coming back. We, we actually almost got attacked by a police dog. <laughs> we ran out into the train. We were, like, running, actually, to catch the train. Yeah. And we ran through, like, the wrong way in the train station in Washington, D.C., which, you know, is a high-security town because the president lives there. Yeah. And but I would, I would a, point out that the sight of the two of us running is not threatening to anyone. <laughs> if anything, you're like, everybody relax. These guys aren't getting anywhere. <laughs> They're not going to do Don't anything. Don't worry. <laughs> They'll fall down on their way. These two nerds are not going to succeed in any type of crime. That they are going to attempt <laughs> to succeed in. But, uh, but no, a woman, a, like a police woman came out with it. Oh like, literally, she's a, screaming like, like a, a barking a dog. Brain, and a like attack dog. And we were, yeah. it was very scary. And we were like, hey, sorry. No, 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 no offense. Yeah. <laughs> But just step up, just we'll back away slowly. But she's like, had the dog. We did this. We were talking as we walked away with our arms up. It was like, so great. It's no problem. Sorry about that. So sorry. Didn't mean it, it was it was very uh, odd. Anyhow, it was good. Um, but so so we're very tired is my point. <laughs> okay. And I thought I was going to have a really bad hair day. No, I've got And a, Neli's hair is so, it's so gross like, what that is I feel good about my hair. I mean, this is just. Maybe you ought to drink more Rienzi <laughs> Pura. Can I just douse my hair in it? Do you think the carbonation, is that carbonated? It's clean. It's fresh. Right, let's go on. So we went so to an Apple event. Went to morning. Apple today. Yes. Apple had their it, first off. They did an event at the Guggenheim Museum, uh, which is cool. It's cool to be in the Guggenheim when there's no other people there. Yeah. It's um. It's like a night. It's like night at the museum, but cool. Night at the Guggenheim Museum. Night at the Guggenheim Museum. <laughs> <laughs> During uh, the day. <laughs> day, <laughs> yeah, day at, at the museum. At Ten a.m. So, but but so Apple had an event. It was their education event. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say much ado about nothing, but. No, it's, I disagree with you. It's no, it's it's. I think it was a proper. Amount well, no, 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 no. But something. but with all Apple events, they're overhyped, and this one, just like every other Apple event, was. I mean, people. I don't know what people thought. We knew it was going to be an education as well, so there was no expectation that it was going to yeah. be like hardware, which is fine. Um, they introduced some big things. They introduced a textbook, uh, iBooks Two, which like now features textbooks, mm -hmm. uh, and they have a partnership, big partnerships with the guys who make basically make ninety percent of the textbooks, which is. Uh, McGraw Hill. McGraw Hill. DK. DK. Oh, I forgot DK. I wrote something about it earlier, but DK. Some Houghton, some Houghton Mifflin. Houghton. That sounds great. Is that how it's pronounced? <laughs> yeah. And Pearson. Pearson. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and this one dude. <laughs> this guy, Larry Schwartz. <laughs> if you haven't heard of him, Larry Schwartz is. No, uh, E.O. Wilson. Biology. Yeah, there's actually, and there's oh, a guy. Yeah, there's like, a guy. There's right. just a guy. Things. Like E.O. Wilson uh, and his, like, adventure, his, like, nature adventures or something. Like, I, nature, can, I, can I? Nature hunters. Just looking at our stream. <laughs> I will say one thing about this event. What? I took more pictures of melancholy Phil Schiller at this event than at any other event. Yeah, point so in my Phil, life. Phil, he somehow caught a bunch of moments of Phil Schiller. Phil Schiller was leading the event. My favorite picture was he, they played a video. I wasn't there, but they they played a video of like how horrible our, our school system at? is. We're showing yeah. gonna... And then the the next picture after that was just. He was just looking distraught, crushed. Phil Schiller. He was just like, oh, he was I like, he was like, I can't it, deal with it anymore. Yeah, he almost like it seemed like he was going to walk off stage, yeah. and start crying, <laughs> or cry on stage. No, but but um, but uh, yeah. So Phil Schiller Here's led this event, Schiller. and and uh, he did. Neil got a lot of pictures of him looking sad. The best thing is that afterwards we got a chance to talk to him, and we told him like, oh yeah, Neil took a lot of pictures of you looking sad on stage. He's mm -hmm. like, well, this is you know very serious. <laughs> It is. It is serious. Like the truth is, like here's what's here's what's cool. I want to say like what's cool and what I think is not cool about the event. So first off, Apple introduced iBooks two uh, and uh, iBooks author. author, which is an authoring, basically hyper a modern day hypercar the way I see it <laughs> mm. for making 
interactive books, or I guess interactive anything. I mean, yeah, there's no reason it has just because be. it has text and it doesn't mean it's a book, and just because it has pages and you can take notes mm -hmm. and you can it has a table of contents it doesn't make it a book. <laughs> just because it has paper, just because it has a glossary and an index. Yeah, uh, but but <laughs> so it's like kind of like pages, Keynote, and HyperCard all mixed together. And then um, what was the other announcement? And uh, the iTunes U. iTunes U. Yeah, they've like altered iTunes U to make it more. Uh, uh, far-reaching and so so they're great education announcements and they made a point they really hammered like and I think they were very, I mean they were focused on America this wasn't universal mm. like hey the international yeah I mean they sort of hinted that they begin well they, they there's no question they're going to do try to do things like this internationally but I feel like today was very much about America Look. the American school well they said America they said they caught out America until we ranked 28th in schools or let something me get, let me get sad Phil on the screen he's this mad was right after this is right after he's mad at you he was like I mean Somebody, one of the teachers is like, our schools is broken. And then they cut back, <laughs> they cut back to Phil Schiller and he was like doing this. Who do yeah. you think he's most disappointed in? Obama? Well, let me find the one. <laughs> the, the taxpayers for enabling uh, I think I think he's most disappointed in um, teacher unions. There's one that's absolutely I think he's most disappointed in, this is Eddie Q that we see here. I think he's most disappointed in in uh, the current state of technology, <laughs> in the fact that the, that that you know we've driven up to the intersection of the liberal arts and technology, yeah. and we we can't make a turn. We stopped at a red light. We need light. to make a turn. No, no, no rights on the red. Door, yeah, the, you know what? It's not a red light. It's a stop sign, and we need to make up our minds and start driving forward. Because it's our turn. Because it's our turn. Yeah. It's our time. <laughs> the time is now. It's true. So don't wanna, stop believing. You go so wait. The, so hold on. So I was gonna say the thing. This one. This is my favorite. The solar Sad system. Phil. With I only frog. see the solar system on the screen. Oh. And you, you only see where. What's going on here? I don't know. You should see sad. Oh, there we go. I don't. I don't have that. There's a little delay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, and now when, <laughs> I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh my god. Anyhow, okay. But but so things that were cool and not cool. Yeah. Um, cool that that a company that does technology is you know and Apple's always been in the education space. Cool that they're talking about education. Cool that they're saying, hey we need to help here like we yeah. should be thinking about how can we use technology to help you know better educate america's children or any children for that matter does it have to be american i'm not mm -hmm. i'm not uh, well as long as i speak english the official language <laughs> well of the official language of apple um <laughs> but uh but uh and that you know and, and and just addressing the fact that like we've got real problems and they need to be addressed and maybe there's a way that technology companies can help address them and have real positive uh, well, this is, you know, there's that, but this is like a complete end-to-end -end solution. That's my cool thing. Hold on. Yeah. I didn't get to my, cool my thing? uncool right. things. So the only cool things is that they introduce like a, what I think is really great and exciting, and I think every kid should have. And the truth is that most kids will not have have or have access to. And they like disc textbooks, you know, and but the truth is like that's what most kids are going to have to deal well, with so it, for the foreseeable future. And they didn't say... And maybe this is a forthcoming thing. Maybe it's something they're working on in the background. But they weren't like what I was really hoping for. They, they introduced this amazing content, <coughs> like really beautiful Excuse content. Me. You need a, a cough button. Yeah. They introduced this really beautiful co uh, content and um, and great a great way to, to experience the content. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like you have to have an iPad. And... Well, so let me, getting, they didn't say, like, here's how we are, we're going to start to get iPads to kids. And I would have liked to hear something about that. Um, that's it. That's my thing. Somebody just started a Twitter account for my hair. Yeah. That happened. Um, it's true. Let's, let's, can I, let me respond Let's get to your you. hair later. Uh, that, that was true when, like, books were invented. You know, for, like... Maybe kids couldn't get for, but iPad, for, yeah, iPads. For, <laughs> that is true. IPads. When books were invented, kids had no access to iPads. <laughs> Gutenberg was like, this <laughs> yeah. is crap. He's like, I... <laughs> I just wish I could give them access to iPads ultimately. Uh, no, I mean, like, you know, for, for hundreds of years, the only books most people owned were the Bible, and that was it. And there were no Funny, other... That's were, all you need, there, if you ask me. This guy. Uh, but no, I mean, you know, it, any new... And Harry Potter. I mean, <laughs> but textbooks change, right? I mean, yeah. like, they've developed and they've, they, they've yeah, mutated. And I'm just like, saying, Apple could take... We actually were talking to... Uh, we were talking to Ross Rubin about this? Yeah, he's like, they can take their cash. No, no, yeah, we, I said, they could take one of their $50 billion they have in cash in the bank and literally give every kid in America an iPad. Right. Like, how much would it cost? Would it cost a billion? I bet it wouldn't. What is, what's, the, what's their cost for an iPad? 
How, how many, many children in school in America a, are there? I mean, that's a lot of math that you're asking. Yeah, I, I'm sure somebody. It, Can it, I get it, sad Phil and the Frog dissection up on the screen? That's all I want. I'm just saying that I'm just saying a billion dollars would go a long way to actually like getting these materials into look, the hands. Look at how sad he is about frog dissection. He's like, don't don't touch that frog. <laughs> so go on, but I, I just wish they had just said something. Well, uh, you know, uh, there's that, but you know, they're a company. Well, you know, they, but, you know, they sell but, things. But they've always had, you know, I'm sure they have. They always had their educational discounts, and I'm sure they still they, do. They but lease iPads out. Some, they told us some number. We didn't. We didn't put this on the site because these are always a little hairy and a little tenuous. But um, uh, some analyst came out with a figure that like Apple or that Amazon is making on average like like a hundred, hundred fifty bucks per person in the first year of them owning a, a kin, the new Kindle. So they're uh, they're extrapolating Kindle that number, Fire? the Kindle yeah. Fire. Okay. They they're they're saying like people on average are buying like, you know, a few books like a month already. So what are you saying? Well, well, you know, if Apple wanted to do a heavily subsidized iPad, yeah. I mean, they're going to make three, <laughs> they're still making 30% off of each of these Well, these the, and, book sales. And, and they're also I mean, think about if you if think about it for each school if for for every uh, year, you know, let's say you had a set number of iPads and the student would get them for the year. Mm. And then the next, you know, they'd have to give them to the next student or whatever. Well, that would make sense. They'd I mean, get them through, all through their. I don't their think school. you know the solution isn't necessarily for Apple to give stuff to everybody. But, I don't mean but, give them like but, I mean just but, let them hold on to right. and subsidize it to schools, which I think they're they they're are leasing them. They're leasing them to schools, but I don't know what at you know what's the just, cost. It's is. just unclear how they're partnering because you know you mentioned this in, in your thing. You know, states have to approve the curriculum. Yeah. You know, how are you administering? In these iPads in mass, you know, it's just not, it's not really set up yet. I know the iPad is getting popular well, in, in enterprise, I don't think but that was... this is kind of an enterprise setup where you can, you know, mass control and mass um, But those tools are there. I mean, they, of... they were really upfront with us that they just don't talk about them with us. Yeah, they they're like when we way. go to schools, we talk about the stuff. Well, all the they time. weren't. They weren't. So, and we talked about the cost, you know. And they they were like, this makes sense for schools. We think the numbers work out if you look at the cost of a textbook versus the cost of an iPad and these this software. But you know, or the the books. But you know, when you think about it, you know, Laura, we were talking in in, in our chat room, and Laura was like asked this question, mm -hmm. uh, and I hadn't even thought of it, but it was. Um, you know, a book can last for like a math book. Math doesn't change. Like they're mm -hmm. not in, oh, like there's a new number we didn't know about. <laughs> yeah, I mean general like math, right? right. But, so like but, they, those books can last for like say five to ten no, years. No, I I disagree with that. I mean, but you disagree but, with math doesn't change. Math, the math doesn't change. How you present, How you, present you need new yeah. relevant story yeah. problems. If you if <laughs> you sure, if like, you have Jimmy's if you have fifty five Facebook friends, yeah, but exactly. then you lose right. seven because the, only, the ones an hour from the studies are like Jimmy yeah. took a ride in his dad's brat and. Yeah. He could only fit three of his friends in the weird back part that's kind of a truck and kind of isn't. <laughs> and the kids are just like, I don't believe this. What is a brat? <laughs> Besides myself. Is that like a brat's doll? <laughs> yeah, brats. How could you go for a ride you in know, a brat? They, they did say some interesting things about how... Good point. Good point, Paul. Uh, these books, they can push updates to the books, right. which, which I think is, is insane. I mean, great books. But I, I, yeah. Still, Textbooks. $500 per student per iPad. And they said and four years to us. They think that, the, that it's a four-year lease. off over four years? No, it's a four-year lease. Four well, they said they lease in four-year periods, but that, yeah. we don't know what their lease terms are. Like, we don't know, is there a minimum, a maximum? Like, well, how much per iPad are they charging for the lease? Mm -hmm. Like, is, you know, I, I don't know any of the... I, I mean, we could be... I, Neil, I was like, what kind of fake school do we have to set up to find out about <laughs> Yeah, about that would be, this that would be nice to really know how this actually works for school. Well, like, it's one thing maybe to say... Maybe they have it figured out, and that's great. I think, ultimately... This is most exciting for somebody who wants to just wants to learn stuff faster. Yeah, right? I mean, you can go get textbooks. They're no, fifteen bucks. I say, what is cool is that um, I'm going to get so many. High I can find. Textbooks. Like, I know. I'm going to like. I'm going to learn about like chemistry. No, you can. Now really is the time for you to like stuff. appreciate the stuff that you tried to ignore in yeah. high school, right? Because you were thinking about girls, right? Or or brats, <laughs> or brats. The car Your and collection. the doll. <laughs> Your collection of brats doll. <laughs> yeah, and cr brat cars. Right. Um, do you even know what the brat is? I do. I do. I was thinking I about girls. Can anybody name, name right now in Ustream? It's a Subaru of, Brat, dude. Damn, I, I got man, it. Come on. It's I wanted somebody cool. to name the maker of the car. It's not a Subaru. It's not a Subaru. Who it's is? Subaru. Who made it? Who made the Brat? Hold on. I keep on getting scrolled up in the Ustream. Somebody Subaru. Said, Subaru. Somebody said Subaru. It's, Mall, it is Subaru. Mall Subaru. Pillar said Subaru. Yeah. Subaru. Um, so, but, but you know what? I'm, I'm glad that they're talking about it. <coughs> I'm not, I'm not, this isn't like, 
oh, Apple, cool announcement about education, but what else do you got? You know, mm -hmm. like, I think that, that it would have been nice to hear more details on how this works but I don't in think the real know. world. And I think, it's possible. I think the announcement itself is how they're going to start to answer that question. Because before it was like, let's give a bunch of kids yeah, iPads. Now the cat's out of the bag. Well, no, but it's, it's like, what happens when you give a kid an iPad? Like, you have to have, there's yeah, no, like, he built in. He downloads, um, uh, he downloads Dead Space. The, the, iPad, yeah. the <laughs> iPad was the remote, but this is the digital content distribution. Yeah. That, <laughs> what? Uh, we're going right back there? Where it's a whole I? week of that. You didn't Let's get enough? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Any happens to that? No, but, so that's but, it. So I think the stuff that they announced is actually really cool. Um, and I think the idea that, like, you could write a textbook that's well, interactive that, is, like, that, cool. That actually cool. is the place that I'm most curious. And I asked some some Apple reps, you know, What's the approval process? And they're like, we have a process. They didn't right. go into detail, but yeah. but like I could write any kind of crazy textbook and, I want. Well, I mean, like, the tool is a math book, the and coolest, I don't know anything about math. The coolest interactive features, though, like you have to do those in HTML5. Like I played around with the tool a little bit. Like you can do really nice layout stuff, and and you can embed connect videos. stuff together, and they do obviously do all that note taking stuff and then the making the cards and the glossary and stuff like that you can embed videos and you can embed 3d objects and keynotes but uh for the really wild interactive stuff is going to be done in html5 but that's an accessible i mean that's an accessible yeah language. no people can do it uh, i'm just saying it, it's not like <coughs> you, you, you can't just take your existing textbook assets and toss this into a, no and you know we saw a amazing. lot of books did you how many books did you try out today you try out of I, I, we tried out the the bio book uh, the living world whatever it's called yeah uh, it's called life on earth life on earth the living world there's also one called biology but, <laughs> just biology. by the way do you know have a competitor to life on earth called the living the world, living it's, world. Very confusing. it's pretty good uh, and that one is the super interactive, like they only have two chapters ready. Mm. It's going to be exclusive. I think, you know, it's the Halo book for the, and that one is like I'm really good to cool. read a Halo the book. The Halo book, <laughs> right? Um, but then, you know, you go look at the, the textbooks they had, the other ones, biology, chemistry, God. and those are just books. No offense. And when is... you turn them from landscape to portrait, they don't paginate. They just, you endlessly scroll up. Or like paginate. 600 or paginate. paginate. To talk to. What is up with your weird words I'm today? from the Midwest. What did you say earlier? Hello, Incognito. Lee. Incognito. Incognito. It's incognito. It's incognito. I don't like you. Anyhow, so so I have to say, listening to us talk about this, yeah. it is, no offense to Apple and education. <coughs> it is, Excuse me. Yeah, so can you cough Sorry. away from the mic? No. It is really boring. Like, I, yeah. this does not interest me that much. Like, it's cool. Like, I'm happy. Like, I want kids to be learning and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, it really is not very interesting to me. Like, from a cultural perspective, from, like, a technology perspective, like, it's cool. I'm excited. I want it to happen, but like, there's only so much I can really say about mm -hmm. it. Like, I think I've said everything I can say about it. You know I, th I, can I say think about this. It? I think this could be a pretty good publishing standard. You well, know, it's not EPUB apparently. It's it's like related to EPUB, but it has it's their EPUB, own it's EPUB's stuff. richer, meaner cousin. <laughs> Let me get Sad Phil on the screen. Repub. I want him to judge Repub. Josh. What are you doing? Sad Phil. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. Wow. You really yeah. made him unhappy. This Sorry, is, Phil. He's so. This is right after I really going to do an inside edition here. <laughs> Not quite smooth. Can you go deeper? Can you get further? <laughs> Can you enhance? Yeah, we're never ever invited to another event. Enhance. Um, but anyhow, so let's talk about other news in the news. Mm. Oh, I also am excited that they made iTunes U better because I've tried to use that before to learn other oh, things. Oh, oh I want to actually... It's very difficult can, to use Can we before. talk about... They showed a video to, to get people psyched about iTunes U. They showed a video of a physics professor and he was, you know, uh, I, I, what was the theorem that he was showing in practice? I mean, some... some he was showing the loss of kinetic energy. There you go, the loss they, of kinetic yeah. energy. Thank you for having gone to college. Um, and he was doing this really exciting thing where he had this huge metal ball on a attached to a rope, and he was in the classroom. And he's like, I'm, you know, basically, I'm going to hold it up to my face and swing it. It's not going to swing back and hit me in the face, otherwise, like I'll die. Mm -hmm. And there was a classroom full of probably like a hundred people, and it was thrilling. Like I was like, wow, like I want to go to this guy's class, right? And then <clears throat> they later, a few, you know, moments later, they showed a guy doing like a lecture to like a camera in a classroom yeah. that was mo like obviously empty, and it had not. There was nothing there for me. Like mm -hmm. I thought it was so seems so sad it just was sad like i don't want to watch a tv learning show <laughs> so like, i want you know to learn what's weird about that is uh well, you want two, bill nye so two, bill nye the science two things, guy can i say two things about have you ever seen uh, real genius which is one of my favorite movies what 
The movie Real Genius, a young Val Kilmer. It's a oh, great yeah, movie. Yeah, is that Real the Genius? The popcorn. Is oh yeah, I'm thinking of Weird Science. Also a great movie. <laughs> very, very, very there's, similar. There's got to be a super crossing. cut of those two coming. Well, together. It was a Real Genius. Real and Genius. Weird there's science. a scene. So it's like Real Science or a Weird Genius. Weird Genius. <laughs> weird is there genius. like a bomb on campus or something? In no, they make a laser. No, they make cool. a they make a laser a, from space. They make a laser. They make a laser from space. Explode things. Anyway, there's a scene. There's a montage. It's an 80s movie, so there's a long montage in the middle, and it's the teacher. And he, he's lecturing in the, to a full classroom, and there's one tape recorder. And every time the kid goes back, there's more and more tape recorders. And so he walks in the lecture hall, and it's a bunch of tape recorders recording a tape recorder playing a lecture. And when they play that video, that's Wait, all I can think in, about. That's in Real Genius? That's Real Genius. Wow. It's awesome. It's pretty great. Um, well, but it's sadder than even having companion <laughs> tape recorders. <laughs> It's like, I just, I don't know, I have to put myself in the position of the professor. No, but I will like say this. I, pouring his educational I, heart out. I, they didn't have, they didn't have all this video streaming stuff when I was in college. Clearly. Uh, which sucks. would be so much But brighter. then I, like, I left and like my like cousins like were just slightly younger than me all went to college. And they all had video lectures. They never had to go to class because they could just watch them. And they all did it. This ain't right. Like all my, all my friends were like a year or two younger than me. Like they, they're into this in a way that, that makes no sense to you or me. I don't like it, man. I don't like it at all. I think that we need to do something about it. I think that um, we need to teach our children how to learn properly. I do you just, believe that they're the future? I believe they're the future if they don't have to watch it. Sad. We should teach them well. If they don't That's, screw it up. If they don't I think we should up, let them lead the way. Well, I think that they're going to screw it up if they are, if they're taught only through sad, uh, mm -hmm. lonely guy <laughs> lectures. Yeah, you know, like we should start an iTunes you called Lonely Guy. I guess, the only guy lectures, Josh Polsky. I guess this is how you solve the problem. What does it matter? Nobody even comes to class anymore. So no. maybe, you're, maybe you're watching, maybe you're not. I have no way of knowing. It's like that's what he feels inside. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, I will say the, the iTunes U stuff. Somebody say I, didn't, I don't like the future or kids. So. <laughs> Your life is an endless series of small disappointments. I cannot deny that. As the future endlessly comes. You know the thing children is, children are continuously like, born. That's the thing. There's a lot of kids in the future. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ugh. God, right, not the future again. It's a compounding problem. The future again. <laughs> so just a shrieking noise in our yes. What was that? Absolutely, that was a shrieking. Wait, noise. wait. What were you gonna say about it? Yeah. Um, no. When I was in when I was in school, we had this uh. system called chalk. And we had to use it, and it sucked. And this is like, this will you kill chalk. You do a lot of reminiscing. I don't you know what you're talking that? about with chalk, but like, I got to say, like, right now, if you were ever curious about something and you wanted to learn, and somebody told you no, yeah. <laughs> no, you can't learn that. Yeah. Who, who would do that? I have no idea. You mean like if you applied that. to go to college and they were like, no. Like if they if if your library re-implemented segregation or something like that, you couldn't check. Really, out that's you're going that far, <laughs> like know. alternate I, I future what? past yeah, history. Yeah, what scenario? Actually, you know what? Like that that was when I um when I was growing up. What kind I, of science I'll, fiction I'll is it called? Retro fic retro con. <laughs> I don't even know. What, you're talking about, you're about uh, what's that book you always tell me about? Where like alternate the Nazis actually the iron, won the Iron Dream. No, yeah. that's not, that's not, that's where that the Iron Dream is where Adolf up. Hitler became an author, and and he didn't become Adolf Hitler, and he wrote stories about like Being weird Adolf like Hitler. like Aryan superheroes. Yeah, but, but that genre is called Castle. something. Man in the High Castle. It's it's also um, who else has has done a bunch? Gore Vidal, I think, has done some. It's 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 alternate histories. Yeah. Um, that's what but, it's called. But growing up, I, I went to the library all the time, and I was obsessed with computers and electronics. And so I would go to the library's section on computers and electronics, and everything was at least a decade out of date. Yeah. And a lot of the stuff was from was from the seventies about computers. Like yeah. I could I could get a book. It was like, what's in a computer? And it had like somebody screwing a light yeah. bulb You're, into yeah, a circuit yeah, board. No, like no a, the first time Paul came into the office, he's like, "Where's the vacuum tube room?" <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I was my mind was blown. <laughs> he came in on he came in in a stagecoach. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so, like, so you keep your like right now you can go on the internet uh, and uh, you can learn some in, just amazing like ev yeah. almost everything. You can you learn can, some amazing things that are not true. <laughs> you can look at a picture of sad. But also you can learn almost everything. Anybody learns. So in let me. You know That's what's true. interesting about that? And At least will, in an undergrad, but, 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 undergrad but, level. No, but the thing about it is, in like you know, I, I I'm an advocate for the future. I love the right. future. And that's, yeah, that's no guarantee you yeah. will. But like, there is something about like yeah, that structure of having a room full of people engaged of in a lecture, where like you're asking questions, you're having a conversation, you're you know, it's a it's a it's a interactive experience. You know, it's like there's something different. You know, the reason I wanted to do when we started doing the Engadget show, and then now we do on the Verge. The reason I want to do it in front of a live audience because there's you get something 
intangible. You can't, there's just, it's a more resonant experience, I think, when there's a group of people there to experience something together. And I do think that matters in learning. I think that there's, it's in, there's a reason we've huddled around the concept of like classrooms. We huddled around the concept of classrooms. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I, whatever. Uh, that's actually the subtitle of my book, How to Save America. Huddle is just kind of like Silicon this, Valley. It's, it's actually like, the sub. It's let's actually, not have a meeting with Huddle. There, what's a, is there a company called Huddle? There has to be. Yeah, I'm sure. It's I'm actually sure. H U D D L. It's actually H D L. I forget. It doesn't matter. This joke, I'm not going to bother going back to this joke. <laughs> the sub, I, sub So let me, you know what? That's funny that you brought up the you can go on the internet and learn anything. Because this, you know, you and Segway. I were talking about this. No, you and I, no, actually we were? not yet. Okay. Yeah, all right. You could, uh, you could before SOPA. <laughs> well, that. Yeah, now I can't uh, learn anything. Gosh. But no, I, what do you, you, last night we were yes. talking about your post column and you're like, Apple hates the internet. Yes, and this Apple is, is anti-internet. This, this is completely anti-internet. I, I, I do, I do believe, and I love Apple. They're a wonderful company, huge innovators. <coughs> you know, I don't need to qualify it, but they i do believe they are relatively anti-internet and kind of don't understand the internet and have like struggled to really find a way for them to like harness the internet to like serve apple mm -hmm. and and i think this is a very anti-internet movie i mean in the it, sense it's of, like, a book you know it's you, static you well, download we saw, it well here's the thing that's really interesting we saw this awesome demo this chegg demo which is html5 textbooks that are like cross-platform you can look at them in a browser mm -hmm. on a laptop you there's like you know uh, there's a, a web view there's a a mobile web view, um, and it's cool. It's HTML5. It's, it's terrible name. <laughs> I think Chegg is the company. Still bad. But it's like cross. It's like cross platform. Totally like internet based. Right. Chegg, you should it's change Google, your name. It's Google Docs, but like for it. books, right? And I thought that was really cool. Um, this is the exact opposite. It's like their <laughs> own standard, from what we can tell. Um, it's all about their hardware. It's all about their software. And that's fine. All that's about the, their authoring that's solution. That's the Apple way. They don't want, and, and you know, the internet can be like not a great source for information as much as it's a great source for information. And I, but they're they're good part. I mean, like what we saw today, the, th the stuff we played with was utterly seamless. It was very. It never slowed down. I was pinching and uh, zooming. It was wonderful. The it, was it was a was native like, experience. It was, you could tell like this is the way it's supposed to be. And, the, and there's the experience is going to be better until you know, for a few years, the experience can be better. Well, and and I, that will be, you know, when the, when the rubber hits the road. <laughs> you know, when, it, when Apple, I don't know, I hate that. What's the cliche. rubber doing to That's the road? The worst it's cliche. the rubber is dry. It's peeling out. Yeah. Onto the road. Well, it's, I mean. The it, pedal down. Because Apple. Put the pedal to the metal Apple and the rubber said, hits the road. Gotcha. Apple said it, like, it really supports these standards. And you've always gotten the vibe that Apple, you know, Apple supported them well enough that it's, it's ready to make that jump when that happens. But <laughs> Apple is so much about making sure its experience is really perfect. It's an it Apple experience. I mean, it, it, it is, and, but, and but so some they, of those books were They like, don't want to take those risks. Some they of those books be... were definitely still just textbooks, though. Like, I will right. say, like, the, the the Life on Earth, or it's called World in Balance. Or living, <laughs> living, the Living yeah. World. Life on Earth. No, Life on Earth is what it's called. Life in the World. The no, Living, the living the World. The world. Is, wait, it lives. No, yours was The Living World. <laughs> Anyhow, but, like, in that book, it's, like, cool. It's, like, they definitely, like, put the special yeah. touch on it. But then some of those, like, uh, some of the um, just high school biology book was mm -hmm. you could tell didn't was not but, chock full of but, interactive but com elements. compare that to the the current state like there are a lot of textbooks already on the app store and you know now you have a universal system for gathering notes you've got a a, a universal um Ow. generic ui which is very helpful so you know it, so the generic ui stuff when the iPad first came out and all those magazine apps hit, yeah, and they were all crappy, right? The, because they all needed like a, a full screen tutorial how to yeah. use. And it, yeah, you know, it's like why didn't they should they had a killer opportunity to do this first with magazines? Can know? I? Can and I? That's the broad consumer. Is well, iBooks out there? Wait, it's shocking to me. That can't this be it. for magazines? Yeah, it, it is. Be. It is. It's going to be. I mean, oh, that's what they want to do. iBooks author now is like here it is. Make your interactive magazine. Right. It doesn't. It's not so called textbooks. Author. You know what we should do? We should make an interactive magazine. Mm. About the Verge. Mm. About the Verge. No, no, I started, not with our I, content. I started Metaverge. making a textbook Met, about the Verge. Metaverge. Did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I saw yeah, your textbook. Awesome. It's really good. If you guys haven't seen this, you should go and look. Paul started doing. Did a, you publish oh, it? Were you allowed was to? Was that you? You, you were doing. Yeah, the, the only video I, I could find on my computer to embed was was a, a an I, like a music video I got from the iTunes store. <laughs> so it was like the Tommy, like, like the was. one video. It was so it's it a was, copyright violation. It was heartless. It was, Are you gonna do was, that? That's how you're doing it. I'm gonna okay. get. I'm gonna get <laughs> soaped. So it looks like uh, you're going to be taken yeah. down. Oh, yeah. but you know, you can't take down stuff that isn't on the internet. You know what isn't on the internet? Apple stuff. Yeah, but don't worry. They'll come Just to New Zealand that and all. arrest you. They can't. Oh, no. So but can't go after Apple. How do we they even start dare. this? Wait, wait they're still distri distributing their stuff over the internet. 
That doesn't mean anything. Does somebody want us to talk about Microsoft? It's not I don't on the web. Why? But Microsoft is a company. Oh, they uh, they announced. Okay, like God, a hold on, wait, wait. Let me. Windows I want to explain. 7. I want to explain. If you've just joined us on the podcast, let me explain how our format works, okay? Because <laughs> it seems like there's some people in Ustream who don't know what goes on. So we talk about one topic, uh -huh. and then we end that topic. And then we talk about another topic, and then we end that, and so on and so forth until the podcast <coughs> ends. So if you want us to talk about something that you're interested in now, maybe the next topic will be that thing, but we're not going to finish our topic early because you don't like it. Mm. Okay? Wow. And I, will, <laughs> and I will slide through the internet pipes and kill you if you have a problem with that. It's true. Let's talk about SOPA. That was me <laughs> shutting down this conversation. Like SOPA shuts down internet websites. Mm. Who would, why would you drop drumsticks? You drop them. Okay. Right. <laughs> the drummer dropping his drumsticks is like the least hard move ever. <laughs> yeah, it's like, they're like, I, you know, I actually, they're like clattered to the I floor. Actually, I actually <laughs> wanted to <laughs> rattle around a little bit. I wanted to end my description of how the podcast works on like a less aggressive note. Yeah, yeah. It just, no, it just didn't really go that. Easy. It just didn't go that way. No. Sounds like an angry father. It went, like, it went up. Like, you're gonna eat you're that. Enjoy these vegetables, <laughs> or you're not getting up from the table. Yeah, I or I'll kill you. I have, That's where you went. I have a new character. He's like um, Gold Gold Rush Father. He's like, I'm, I've got gold. You mean There's like gold in them, our hills. No, no, not, not Daniel Day Lewis. No, I, but I can actually do a pretty good really? Daniel Day Lewis oh, from uh, There Will Be Blood. Really? I'm not going to do it now. All right. But you know that scene oh, where, he's, oil, you know that scene where he's in the restaurant? He's like, I'll come to your house <laughs> and I'll kill your children. <laughs> Something like that. Wow. Okay. I'll come to where you live, <laughs> kill you and your wife. And then I'll drink your milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go on. All right. So I'm going to uh, try so to talk uh, about copyright law now. Oh, gosh. I'll, so come, to your, I'll come to your website. Yesterday was a day. And call SOPA. <laughs> Can you call SOPA? Is that a line? Does own SOPA.org? <laughs> like 1-800-SOPA? If you All see right. infringement in your neighborhood... Wow, SOPA.org is the worst website in the world. Ooh. It's 1 800 SOPA SOPA. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So, yesterday was the day. <laughs> All you can think about is my Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to come back. I, I've been down uh, this road with you before. <laughs> you know, I, I can't make any promises. <laughs> yesterday was the blackout. Yesterday, so, yesterday, so we've talked about SOPA at length before. I'm just going to bring up SOPA.org here. Uh, we can put this up on the screen. Yeah. This is a really important website. The Soybean Processors Association of India. Uh, come on, man. I, I, I'm I'll just feeling bad. I feel bad for your them. house. <laughs> uh, bringing prosperity through the golden bean is their mission statement. You like that, don't you? <laughs> uh, don't right. do okay, so, yeah, so, so done. we've talked about SOPA a lot. SOPA is this law. Yes. It actually is not even anywhere. It's in committee. It's, it's in committee. It's, it's not, not a law even, SOPA not even is close a, it's to a be a law. SOPA is a bill? It's an idea a bill. of a bill. It's, it's, it's a bill. It's a seedling that represents... It's the golden bean. We should watch that, the Schoolhouse Rock video about this. Yeah. You know, the Schoolhouse Rock video is it, so far away so from like, the reality of the we should What we should watch is we the, amendment, the Simpsons Amendment video. Yeah. Oh, really? Have you ever seen that? No. It's, oh. like, it's like really funny. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you, I'm sure you guys have seen the Simpsons Amendment. I go do go search for Simpsons Amendment. Go look for and some you'll copyright find some copyright, some copyright <laughs> infringing site in China, and you can watch it. No, it's it's hilarious. It's like it's like the Schoolhouse Rock song, okay. but, but it's about the real thing. But about how amendments, how like you can just do any crazy stuff with an amendment. Right. It's really amazing. So anyway, so Soba is this bill? Stop Online Piracy Act. It's right. in the House. There is uh, a version of it in the Senate called the Protect IP Act. Neither one of them is like passed into law. Soba, Soba is and PIPA. PIPA. So, uh, PIPA is, uh, has been come out of committee. PIPA Middleton. PIPA Middleton. <laughs> Tremendous uh, butt, from what I hear. I wouldn't look, of course, I'm married. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, that's the only thing I know about PIPA Middleton, is that people think she has a great ass. That's all I know. And really? Then she, and okay, then she's so we're making so a lot of changes to the podcast Pippa's, in 2012. <laughs> PIPA's out the... I'll come to your house. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, can't, I gotta stop. That's the last time. I mean, time. if you say I'll all come right. to your house and I'll, I'll look at your butt, uh, no, <laughs> I think this is about perfect combination. Maybe if PIPA Middleton was there. Let's let's give Neli five minutes of go respect. Ahead, let's go ahead. Let's go. Let's do it. I, I had 30 I'm seconds. I'm 30 done. seconds of respect. I'm done. That's, go. that's the title of Pippa. my autobiography. So, but, so, but 30 seconds of respect with the Neli Patel story. That's going to be your podcast. You just go on and talk about how it's about time you finally got your 30, 30 minutes of respect. Yeah. Anyway, so they're, they're whatever. There are these bills. Yeah. They've been a huge outcry again. I'm just talking to Paul. Yeah. I'm just letting this, this happen over here. Uh, 
huge outcry against them. These protests have been planned for a long time, the ones that happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. The bill, they've been backing off the bills in committee. They're saying, we'll take out the DNS blocking stuff. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll water them down. <sighs> Wikipedia and Google and Twitter, not Twitter, Wikipedia, Google. Reddit. Reddit. Twitter, Twitter didn't do anything, did they? Twitter didn't do anything. Facebook didn't do anything. Shows their true colors. Uh, mm -hmm. Many, many other sites all went black. We put up a black banner in our hero. I can turn this take off. Take that off. Um, yeah, we, we, so we also, we also have a statement yeah, from our, us and Vox from Media. Vox Media, which is our, our, our parent company. Um, I mean, we, cool we, murdered out we officially again. oppose SOPA and PIPA. Um, and you know what I think is really interesting about it is that that happened yesterday. And there was, I mean, I think it had results, right? Oh, I think it definitely uh, had and, results. You know, and senators are backing away from PIPA. House members are, are backing away from SOPA. But that's a pretty nuclear option. For Wikipedia to black out its site yeah. to try to get something done is not, it's not consistently effective. Yeah, is this, the thing that T this is kind of along the lines that the, the thing that TC wrote. And TC wrote, and so TC mm -hmm. Sadek on our team. TC Sadek, who is a former, which I just found out, he's, former he, was, his, he quit being a lobbyist to work for us. We, by the way, we just stopped one piece of corruption and uh, <laughs> well, one piece of government corruption by hiring. And by the way, any other lobbyists who have great writing talent, we're, we're looking. He's great. Um, he was a lobbyist for the National Park We Service. love lobby, any lobbyist for but, the National Park Service. Well, he was like a good lobbyist. Yeah, he's he like, was, stop <laughs> killing the parks. Um, stop that. Um, yeah. So, but you know, he wrote, I mean, you've got to play the game in Washington to like win. And doing this kind of level of really intense, like blackout activism, that's only going to work once. I think. Well, no, that's that is the problem, and, and, and it is like, and the point <coughs> is, and I, I actually wrote this thing I wrote for the post that Neil I gave me a few pointers on because I'm ignorant of what soap really is. No, nope. I thought it was just a weird new kind of uh, so, French, French soap. Um, I've been trying not to write who dropped the soap like all day. <laughs> no, please, <laughs> right. please don't. Um, but but he he uh, we talked about it on the train yesterday. But uh, but the and and result in the gist is like I think you know there's a way to do there is a way like there's there is piracy. I admit I think it does exist. Mm -hmm. I think that there I are, think it does exist. <laughs> no, it exists. Pretty sure there are people yeah. there are people who go like they're one toke over the line on how mm -hmm. they what they're doing. I think there are people who are who are many OP, tokes over what they're doing there. with OPP. Mm -hmm. Other people's property. Oh, I'm there. And um, how can I explain it? And uh, I'll take it frame by frame. Oh boy, <laughs> sorry. Don't make me. Don't make me do what you know I need to do if you're going to go down that road. I think I only know the first verse. Anyway, um, I always but, for other people. But you know, the the, the gist of it is, and what you're getting to is the last P. Wikipedia, Wikipedia, Google, Facebook, Apple, and Microsoft companies that live and work on the internet need to fight if they want to do this thing right. Like, they need to say, we're... Just say it, just fine. You rhymed, dude. It, it happened. Just enjoy it. <laughs> I'm not enjoying it. You're ruining the moment. Okay? Go ahead. They need to fight. They need to fight, they need to, they need to fight and, and create something on... The, we need... We, as a, the industry, need to... Like, let's not have... Let's not have... Um, What's his name? Lamar Smith? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's not have Lamar Smith, who literally I don't think has ever been on the internet and doesn't certainly doesn't seem to know how it works. Let's not let him do the law. Let's, and, you know, let's and have... the, those markup hearings were characterized by you know, members of the House saying, well, we don't know how the internet works, but piracy is bad. Mm -hmm. And that is never... I mean, you can't... But what I'm saying, and I, what I think... You know, Paul, we had a conversation about this too, mm -hmm. is you only get one Wikipedia blackout a day. Right to make I mean, which is which is like you know, and you used it. They used because yeah. if you do two wide well, widespread it's... student failures, <laughs> yeah. well, no, I mean it's like they can't do this again next week, right? You know, if SOPA goes to the house again next week, I don't know that the effectiveness they, they will continually dilute the effectiveness of this, right? And I, you know, um, somebody compared it. Uh, Randy Picker, who is a professor at the University of Chicago, uh, was on Twitter and he was comparing it to, well, what if the you know the electric company decides to turn off the power <laughs> uh, because they want to protest like a, a regulatory yeah. change. And it's like, well, you can't really keep and, doing and, and that's uh, And there's, you know, I'm not saying Wikipedia is the electric company. I have pro I have problems with both Google and Wikipedia doing what, what they did because Wikipedia is is a non-profit, it's like it's paid for by don donations. It's well, like it's not... But they, they see SOPA as an existential threat. You know, they yeah, had a no, long conversation. I and I understand. And, and, and so I have, I have a lot of sympathy for them. But at the same time, like, 
people like, you know, let's say you're a, a student and you greatly benefited from Wikipedia this year. And so you donated $10 when, when uh, yeah. Jimmy started getting on your case. And then it goes black to it. You know, like, it's, well, that's sure, a rough. But, I mean, it's a little rough, but it's also like they... Right. I mean, so it was a bad law. And I do mm. think it actually was an existential threat to Wikipedia. I think that, you know, if it passes and, you know, co their copyright, you know, people can upload anything to Wikipedia. Right. And copyright owners often get mad about what's on there, even though they have a very strict policy. Well, and that's the thing. Wikipedia has an amazing policy. Right. Just incredible. Google does not have a good policy. And and Google putting up their thing Man, is you just... Get, <coughs> you, get some, you get some negativity in the Ustream for your this opinion. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, no, I, you know, I Google... They're like, they're like, they literally are ready to drive over here and burn you yeah. alive. Well, um, I can imagine. Well, anyway, Google is going to emerge from this as wearing kind of the biggest black mark. They're uh, going yeah, to have... Google, Google mm -hmm. needs to have the best... You know, the same thing that, like, you know, Facebook works so hard to be so transparent about its privacy and it's still like you know steps mm. over the line and people freak out and stuff and it's working so hard to do that google needs to be the same way about copyright it needs well, to be no, it's not that no, no, ultra, no. ultra com communicative yeah, that, and, and have the best well, I, and, and no, that's, best in industry policy that, on it that's no that's like that's kowtowing to a bad law yes and i think that is the problem and preach so it the no, reason google's well, going to no, come out of this with a black I, mark and no. I, i'm saying this for a very specific reason is that Google is the one that should be in Congress saying copyright laws saying. Is broken? I absolutely agree. They should they should be doing that, but they should also be putting you know they should be unimpeachable as far as how their behavior is, at least according to whatever oh, but law. But, no, but, but human Google, beings, but human beings who use Google products are saying we don't want we don't want it to be this way. Like we don't you know what what right. is what is unimpeachable to the industry, mm. which is their job is to make profit off of humans. Right. Um, may not be and so is Google's to some extent, but like sure. you know mm. both you know not to some extent. Well it is. It yeah. is. Okay. I mean, Google makes a lot of money you know, they make a lot people, of money because people put dancing with the stars episodes. Yeah, up but, on but dancing with the stars makes way more money. You know, yeah. like, like it's not <laughs> that's, off of that show. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not the core of their business. Like, the, if Google was, that's the way people want to paint it. That like so, the core wait, of Google's business out. is piracy. Wait, wait, wait. But, but that is true, right? I mean, Google Search when it was when it was released, they went through lawsuits saying you're taking little bits of our content, you're indexing our whole page, mm. you're making a copy because they make a copy and they put it in right. the index. Well, that was when we didn't and, understand and, what and Search that's, was. That's one thing. But I mean, all but, by itself. But, but look, I mean, they're we, they're like really hosting. Dancing with the Stars episodes. They're like. really doing that, but they're also really hosting an entire copy of The Verge on their server. They're also really, yeah. they're also really taking them down when they get complaints from these companies. I mean, they. But that's they, so. So this is like. And they only did that at the behest of those companies. Well, of course. Well, of course. Need, no, 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 Google no. Just no. needs to be at the can, a, ahead like, of the can curve. I, can I just take a quick little right, his, legal history time out here? All right. So, I was telling this to you yesterday. The copyright law in America was last seriously revised in 1998. And that law was passed, the digital DMCA. Everybody hates it. You love that law. Uh, it was passed one month after Google was first incorporated as a company. So that and law. I, and I said, in a reaction to Google. <laughs> or in a reaction to the law. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I wish. Um, so that law doesn't know about Google. It doesn't know how Google works. Right. It doesn't know, it certainly doesn't know about Facebook. Well, not, none of our laws Google. know how Google works. Right. And so Google came gotta, out. Got to release the algorithm. Uh, but, you know, the, the DMCA had this whole notice and takedown thing in it. Mm. And it's been really effective. It's enabled all these companies to exist. It's enabled Vox Media to exist in a very real way. Like, you know, the, the, the SP Nation side of our company, it's all user-generated content all over mm. the place, right? Mm -hmm. And so because of the protections in the DMCA, which there's a lot of bad stuff, but then there's this one good part where it says, we won't hold Google responsible for what's on their servers that users put there, if they're responsible at taking it down in response to a complaint. How could they have not, how could they have put Google's name in there if they didn't know who they were? No, not like that. Service providers. Oh, you were being like a you yeah. were like service providers. You're like paraphrasing. And service providers was actually it was read broader than it was written. Right. Right. They the courts shoehorned Google into service providers. Into service providers, providers yeah. Um, well, I mean yeah. And but that's like I mean, Google but Google is like probably ultimately not the worst offender. Google is but, but they no, didn't but they Google's didn't the largest offender. Well of course. Google didn't implement the the their really, you know, at least a lot better takedown practices on YouTube until they got seriously Google's sued. strategy around IP law in general has been to just do it. 
see what happens. Just right. pull it. Just and that's what like I'm saying. 90. They just need to get ahead of the curve. They, they need, need to get it. way ahead of the curve. That's all I'm saying. They no, need wait, to wait, 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 wait. When you say a policy and then you, present... Uh, when present you say that, ahead of the curve, what do you, what, can you... I mean, they, look, you know, and they are. Uh, uh, William Patry, who's Google's head copyright attorney, he just released a book called How to Fix Copyright Law. I've been desperately trying to finish it so I can publish a review. Anything good in there? Uh, it's really good. Uh, you you know, figure it out. He does, it's hard to figure it out. Correct. But you know, his suggestions are real. It's, what if know, everything is free? We need to reduce the. You can't be free. I mean, like we need. What to if get, it was like a Star Trek Next Generation situation where you know we've been we've been down that path. Holodeck, etc. <laughs> Just suits. Why doesn't no, he want it? Why doesn't he want a holodeck? Look, why is little, Google holding his back? Communicate guys right here. These little dudes. Um, Tricorders. No, you know. Phasers. Look, we need we need the ability to get paid for our work. Transporting. And we can only get paid for our work <laughs> if it's ours. That's uh, kind of the way it goes. And yeah, so I guess, free I is like we give away uh, our I, stuff no, for no, free. No, I don't want. I, I'm not. I'm, I was just joking about the free stuff. But but um, but I will say that. Uh, there are obvious problems. I mean, no, and you know there are real solutions. Like, like, and, and the first one, and I think, and they're is, not total solutions though. That's total. The, this has to be like a grow. Because here's the thing: we where we were five years ago is different than where we are now, and and it, five years from now it'll be different. So these have to be what we, one of the things that is not baked into anything is a sense of fluidity. Like none of our laws are fluid, right? They're very strict. Like there is no. Right. We need to we need to create laws about copyright that can that can be that can adapt. And yeah. we're not really doing that. I mean, we're not creating laws. Well, that, so that I make would say, sense, so you know, what's interesting is that the one forward-looking part of the DMCA was the notice and takedown stuff, where we, they, it's written in there. Like, you can start a service. We won't hold you liable for copyright infringement if you respond to a notice and you take it down. Right. right? And there's this process. That is why YouTube exists. Ultimately, that's why YouTube is allowed to exist. It's like the Supreme Court just threw him a bone. It well, it's just weird. It's like that sort of adapt adaptability. I really can't talk today. Uh, that tired. level of adaptability, like, let the internet flourish. And we don't have it now. And it's, you know, the but idea we that we have now, a right. copyright law that regulates copies is insanity. Because this thing can make as many copies as I want it to. This, yeah. Also kills fascists. Well, you know, um, I mean, do you want me to... It does. Yes. I didn't know if you knew that. Uh, no, but here's a, a really crazy example. So uh, there's this case that I read when I was in school. Um, it's called MAI versus Peak. I'm trying to remember the caption. Um, and it was before, I don't know, it was before people understood computers. And the case was, this company sold software to a customer. They said, we license you to run the software on your computer. And the customer said, cool, thank you for the software. And they brought in a third party to be their support vendor, which is pretty standard practice. And the first company said, it's not this kind of story. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead. And the first, the first company said, no, 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 no. We only authorized you to make a copy, not the other guy. Yeah. We have to be your support vendor. Yeah. And the court said, no, that's true, because when you run the software, you copy it to the RAM of the computer, and that is making a copy that we can regulate. You lose. That is insanity. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's like where we're at with this, where like just that level of making a copy the courts are like, yeah, that's making a copy. That's the level at which we'll regulate this. So, like, right now they're just turning a blind eye they're, to the fact that we're copying things into our RAM all the time. I mean, it, stuff, was, stuff has changed since then, but that's the level of regulation that the law anticipates. Right. And we, we can't do that anymore. Like, that doesn't... There's a whole generation of kids out there that doesn't think making a copy should be an act that's regulated. Uh, I think everybody agrees that having access to content should be regulated. I agree. Like, I pay the label, I can listen to the song anywhere I want. Right. That makes sense. But this whole, like, I have this copy what of if a I, record. What about if I pay for it, can I give a copy to a friend? Uh, I mean, maybe. I don't know that. These what are if like, the copy expires in four days? Like the ring. Yeah. You see the, you see the copy and then it... Stop, <laughs> you stop being able to listen to it in four days. Yeah, if you if you don't have the rights, you die. Yeah, you just fade away. Uh, no, look, you I mean, just that's, die. Th that's an entire set of <laughs> questions. I mean, this is this have, is such right? a big. You know, we should just do what we should do is is do a special podcast, Ver <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> Vergecast, <laughs> where we get some policy experts on. I'll sit that one out. You can run <laughs> it, and just and Paul, you you and I maybe Paul can be like our everyman. No. Yeah. 
the I'll guy. just ask like Ernest question. <laughs> so what what you're saying? So what is a copyright? Exactly. <laughs> is it if I go to piratebay.com or dot org or so whatever the, the actual one. domain name? So is. then okay, have, you ever, so have you ever been to Pirate that, Bay? Is that illegal? Have you ever been to the Pirate Bay? Yes. Have you ever pirated it something? Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, so let's. Talk. You are done for. You just admitted to piracy. I don't know. I did. You guys have a mega upload while we're while we're. Wait. Let's there. just let's see. Have you ever been to Pirate Bay? Yeah. Have you ever pirated anything? Only things that I know. No, wow. sir. I'm wow. trying to think. I'm trying to think if I what what everyone's pirated. I'm trying to think of the last thing I is illegally it? downloaded. Let me think. What was it? Can I can I just can I you know, can, you can know I say what? the honest truth about something? Yeah. I have no compunction about pirating network television shows. So you know it's funny, but I actually will go and pay so I hate torrenting things because I find it to be a complicated, annoying process, and it ends up in a place Pir where I, Pirate Bay is getting rid of torrents. It ends up yeah. in a place Magnet where I, links, right? Magnet. I don't even know what that is. It ends nope, up in a, no idea. It ends up <laughs> the next generation. But you know what? It's Magnet's a, pretty great. It's the next generation of not paying they work? for stuff on the internet. Uh, I uh, I will go. So so torrents end up in a place where I don't want them, and I'm not. I don't have a, a Your downloads folder. <laughs> yeah, my downloads folder on a laptop. Or, oh, right. You know, like, <coughs> and then the process of getting to where I want it to be is a pain. So yeah. I'll happily pay $3 sure, for, for the last episode of 30 Rock, which I missed. Right. And by the way, I did just set my um, DVR to record 30 Rock while so, we were no, on No, that's why. So this is that thing that you just said. I will set my DVR to record it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just why, did while we were podcasting. Is why I actually think that I have no problem that because you would have said to record it because if but, i mean it's but, it's, but, it's the luck of the draw and, and like you're saying like we're all making these like vague gray moral decisions all the time no, no, but, but this none one, of these are allotted none of these are allotted but this i think the dvr example to me is the most concrete like here it is this is why it's broken it's if i'm at home right. and i hit record no, that's on what my I say, DVR, i'm agreeing this is this is what i let me get through the example for the people i understand Ooh. and then we can agree i understand shut you down i know you understand me. but i want them to understand I know exactly what you're saying right now Dude, I, I don't i i don't know what you're you saying you got at through all. to that's the every man don't, don't, don't do here. don't why you did no, that let me tell you something so look if uh i'm, I'm, I'm at home uh i can't i'll come to your house if Josh comes to my house with the voice, right? Uh, and Thirty Rock is on, and we hit record on my DVR. I understand. We're, 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 we have like no. Fun. Then I have this copy that I, I have the yeah, right. I'm sitting there on that one thing. You made a copy. Don't, I know. Don't think about that. I then I can I can move that copy. I have mm -hmm. rights to move that you copy. You can move that copy. Yeah, I can. You to can where? Move, you can. I can. How? Make all sorts of other copies. How? Of by shooting a video, putting a video a camera on your TV. I can move the copy. You so have, what happened? Tell me how you do. Tell me how you move the copy. Oh, what do you mean? Just oh, explain to me the process. I open iTivo on my computer and I. What's move iTivo? The copy. Is that a licensed application? Yeah, it works. Like it just. No, no, it works. But did TiVo? Did make you get it? that on Pirate Bay? Did TiVo make it? <laughs> did 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 the it is an op TiVo knows about it? Okay. Oh, oh they know about wow. it. Wow. Oh, they make wow. other software that I think is worse that does the same thing. Okay. TiVo, I -Tivo does. is TiVo the open does. source better. Yeah, police, than you open. police know about murder. Yeah, yeah. Police know about murder. They don't condone <laughs> it. So 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 you open iTivo. What do you do? I just want to know. I, what you it do. just lists everything on my TV. And then you do what with it? And then I can like be like put it on my iPhone. And it's in what format? But you're saying you're saying because all those things are possible, yes. you don't mind torrenting something because the only it's difference like, it's like you'd have had it anyhow. It's like owning it's like owning a, yeah. an, a, a Super it's, NES cart and then getting the ROM. Maybe. Well, that's, maybe that's, like, that's, that's like the assumption that, that he owns that everything that thing? that's like saying that he owns everything that might ever show on his cable ever. Right, but network because television you could because you could record it. Network television, in particular, right. is beamed through the sky for free. So by so every television here, network. Here's an actual honest question. Like, literally, Thirty Rock has like pulsed here's an through my body question because I've known what you've been talking about for so long. Yeah. Here's an honest question. Yeah. If if so, I've been uh, by transitivity known. I, I'm, I'll Go ahead. I'm going to start over. Do you want, uh, I can get you a math book. I know specific people right. who have been prosecuted for downloading HBO's show. Like <coughs> HBO is maybe a little more vigilant for whatever reason. I mean, I know lots of people that, I mean, I, I used to represent file sharing. Right, and, and you know, HBO is not free network TV, right. right? No. But let's say you do pay for HBO. No, I will get prosecuted for getting 30 Rock. Right. Like from no, so that's Bay. what I'm saying. So you would feel comfortable going to court and defending yourself on that? Or no, you just feel, I would lose. I would 100% right. so you just feel morally wait a second, wait a good about it. There, because the thing that you're talking about doesn't... If you bought a DVD set of 30 Rock, could you torrent a, a copy of an episode that you own no, on DVD? No, 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 no. Right, exa not. exactly. It's, this it's is not, what I'm saying. Right. This idea that 
Right, and we, we all regular, agree. Right, we this all agree. Silly. I'm saying like that doesn't just because you could. The problem is that we keep actually not saying the thing. We just keep it? A, we say it. Just say it. We just keep preemptively agreeing with each other. We're all saying what matters is access to content, right? It's that at some point I pay the price for the content, mm. and then the form in which it's delivered to me is decoupled and it doesn't matter. So if you buy the 30 Rock DVDs, yeah. it probably shouldn't matter that you're torrenting them because it's more convenient to get it on your iPad. Right. But the system right now is completely set up so that every copy needs to have a permissions chain mm -hmm. where it's this copy was made by somebody with permission who had permission to sell it to you and you have permission well, but, to buy but it. Think about you what you're to put it on but think product. about what you're suggesting about TV because then but you... So the you TV have... model, this is what I'm saying, the TV model is already set up so that if you're at home and you have your DVR and you push record, you are the copy that you make has already gone through the permissions chain. Yeah, but but listen, but so let's say you want to then let's say you record the full season of Thirty Rock. You're only saying this because you have a cable company DVR that sucks and you think you can't get copy out. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. If you had a TiVo, you would be having a different no, listen conversation. Listen to what I'm saying. You record the whole season of Thirty Rock. Yeah. Okay. And you're going on a long trip, and yeah. you want to watch it on your laptop. Yeah. So you dump all of that. I've done this On your before. laptop. Or you burn DVDs because you bought a portable DVD Totally player. done this before. Okay. So you're saying, you're, that's so you're saying it's fine for, the, for that industry to lose a total, to a whole chunk of their revenue streams could be completely shut down because you were able to record it on your DVR. It already is fine. That's what you're saying. But it already is fine. So you're saying. That is legal. That whole thing you described is legal. No, it's not. I mean, but what you're, saying, what, what you're saying is. But it is. But, but you it, don't own the things you see on because, cable. Do they? Do they you just no, no, see no, no, them? No. You, you're like buying a license to you're see not, the you're stream. Not, you're not listening to me. When you hit record on your DVR, you have permission to hit record on your DVR. So why don't all? So why don't why don't they just make all DVRs let you spit out DVDs to go take in your laptop? You know, TiVo used to make DVRs to let you spit out DVDs. And why don't they make them anymore? Uh, because Blu-ray and HD too is it too. So 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 so. But I, you know, you know that this product used to exist. But you it was sold in Best Buy. So you so you're telling me that literally, like, if everybody and here sling, owned Sling it, Player is legal as well. Yeah, Sling Player is legal. Sling Player is play shifting. But this is what it's I'm different. saying. It's taking that same these thing and these, moving it elsewhere. These are all these little chunks right. of, of like pieces. So, but of laws so, but you understand that the industry that creates this content is not going to say, um, oh. is not going to say like, oh yeah, we don't care about selling the sixty dollars DVD box sets anymore. It's not you that. You can just record it on TV and do whatever the you want. The industry doesn't have it. to say a, a damn thing to me, dude. I already have permission. No, but I'm saying get, get them out of knee lines. But you understand? You understand if they made it easy for everybody to do? No, that's. I don't care how easy they make it to. You know why your Comcast? Are you sure, boss? this is legal. I'm a hundred percent sure they're recording something from television. Is yeah. Legal. And, and, and doing whatever you want, and doing whatever you want with it as long as you're, you're the guy using. There it. is a, 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 a technical regime in place. The copy flag in place. Mm -hmm. And some things are marked but, copy once, and you can only make one copy. Like what would be marked copy once? Every HBO show is marked you can't, copy once. And oh. You can't rip a DVD. I, I mean, can. No, you, I can. You can. Oh, I mean like rip a DVD. Right. No, 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 you can't. But that's like, that's, that's another know. legal. Like, it's just ridiculous. This is what I'm saying. These are no, like but little if you bought the DVD set. You can't rip the DVD because you have to break the you have to break CSS. You have to break the encryption. And it's not copying so the DVD. So but HBO shows, if you bought the DVDs, you could make one copy of them. And then that you're done. Is that what's uh, going on? You could only make it a copy of it if you saw it on. Or if TV. you record it, but if you recorded, um, okay, if you recorded True Blood, uh, then you HBO make, marks its content copy one. But on 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 but, TiVo. On TiVo. So what happens? So I've when made you tried the one it? copy on the TiVo. Yeah. Now I can't move it. Oh, interesting. Right. So that would be illegal. So then that wow. so but TiVo so I TiVo won't let you move. So it broadcast it broadcast no problem. Broadcasters, they don't care because they're already I mean, literally thirty rock courses through I get, your body I get, I get every that. day. I, so, I, come full circle. That's why you feel morally fine about I, just I, the I fact. That's why you feel morally fine about torrenting, torrenting network hey, television. Hey, torrenting network television just doesn't bother me. But at the same time, it is illegal currently. Totally but we illegal. all agree that's silly. It's kind of stupid. Do you feel, how do you feel morally about torrenting HBO shows? No, I mean, I'll pay for I, I, It's weird because I already pay for HBO. But right. think about HBO already makes it incredibly easy for me to go watch all their shows. So it doesn't even I occur. Go, I wouldn't describe it as incredibly easy. It's pretty easy. Well, you can watch it on your iPad or your iPhone or your Android device. I mean, or my Roku player. Oh, does it work with FiOS? Yeah. Sorry, I'm living in a world where I doesn't, <laughs> where for some reason, DirecTV has HBO Go, but not for uh, Roku. 
Yeah, I don't know. Which is really awesome. Yeah. I so, mean, so we <clears throat> we solved copyright. We didn't solve. We no, we all we've done is we we've identified fixed copyright law. Like, if, this, if Congress people would just listen to this podcast, we just fix it. I I, I get what you're saying things. about broadcast, but it is different. But it's literally. Non, I mean, it's, it's it's different with like a movie. It's I just different think, with HBO. I just think the fact that so if I download a torrent, I get I go to court and. I mean, I really did used to represent kids who got sued for using Kazaa, and then everybody lost. How many? Right. Oh, they all lost. Everybody, well, that's that's you're so always, much for your career it was, as a lawyer. <laughs> why I didn't want to be a lawyer. Like, I, could tell, I could tell you well, unequivocally you, everyone lost. They all did. They were poorly represented. They didn't have the, it wasn't the, that. They didn't have the defense you they want, deserved. You want to know the depressing truth? <laughs> yes. They couldn't pay for the full representation. They were college kids. We got them five thousand dollars like, settlements. Like, and they went home. Oh, oh! Neil like milks them for the five hundred dollars an hour, <laughs> yeah. and then by the time they get to court, they're out of money. Yeah, they're and like, he's oh, like, sorry, sorry, I, I gotta no, get I another mean, case. No, I mean the the, the simple it. truth was like, we were like, well, it's gonna be cheaper for you to settle, and and, and they're like, we did it. I'm like, well, then you're definitely gonna lose. I'd have fought it all the way. Yeah. I would have. I would have been my own. Have defense. you ever seen a movie <laughs> uh, with Tom Cruise in it? What do you think Tom Cruise would do? He would have said, "Demand of the truth from whoever." It was around yeah. at any time. What, what if, anyway, what if they can't handle it? Let me, just, let me just wrap this one problem. up and then we can do it. Yeah, let's do it. Is there another I one? I think it's really dumb that I could go to court for downloading a torrent of 30 Rock and lose yes. when if all I had done was push for, push one button at home, I would be in the clear. Hey, and the, that uh, is insanity. I the road to hell is paved you. with good intentions. I Eli. agree with you. I agree with you. But, okay. but I hope our, no, I hope, there's no but. I, I mean, that's like you, that. But to me, agree, makes but no does, sense. does that apply to HBO? No, I've been agreeing with. We can't. We can't go down this. We can't. I just want to be clear. We're like a, we're just, in a cul-de-sac. I know, but I just want to be clear. <laughs> like we're you, doing donuts. I agree. Yeah. I, the, I agree the that the rule or no, no, I agree that if the rule, I'm going to fly out the passenger door. But I agree. But I agree if. If if the rule for ABC or NBC I is that you can do whatever but you want, NBC and ABC already give you the content for right. free. No, no, I, that's I'm really saying, and I accept that. Yeah, but it's not the case for movies and for no. HBO. No, it's not. And, and for sporting and events. That's why and for and, a bunch of other. I open. We're all agreeing. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't we're, know. we're all agreeing. This is ridiculous. It's, it's ro broken. Well, somebody really needs broken. to fix it. Well, and, I think HBO would. I think HBO would be really miffed if they discovered that their DVD market like just went away one day. It I would be they, detrimental to so their business. It has I to think. be fixed well, and it has I to think be. They well, I mean, maybe they just can't make money that way anymore. But like, they have to. Like, I will say that like they found a way to make money by selling things like VHSs and DVDs you, and you box sets. Fix box sets have clearly been very lucrative for these companies. Right. If suddenly like it was possible that you didn't need the box set because like you recorded all the episodes on your TiVo, I think it would probably be <laughs> a hit they couldn't take. The fix isn't no copyright. There's just. There is a fix in new, this book. New copyright. Eli's, there's yeah. a, a fix in this book. That's hopefully that he's got Eli, it. When Neilai finishes this book and then writes, when the I review, find the free time, to oh, finish I thought you were going to write the book. You should I write. Would you love should love write to write the Neilai's. You should rip this guy's idea. <laughs> Neilai's way. You know what the best part about copy his idea. You know the idea. best part about the SOPA blackout stuff yesterday was was that the the official Occupy Wall Street. Oh, this is cool. Site. Copied our post without Occupy permission. Wall Street on their like what <laughs> sopa <laughs> they took our took the whole thing, thing without permission and then they did have a link they did yeah, I mean, they had a link and it I don't care I gave I, I wholeheartedly give cool. you permission it was cool though to see it, uh, it was, I was like are you sure that's the actual Occupy Wall Street yeah like, it was yeah, just it was such a meta irony of like we're protesting copyright well, it's law like, changes it's like, by it's, infringing the copyright it's like Lamar the guy who's fighting the copyright law changes what was were they Irish what's going on I've always thought all the Occupy Wall Street people are Irish I I read they're like pirates it's almost like a pirate yeah like our mateys. We're occupying. We're that Wait, that's not yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's an Irish pirate, okay? It's an right. Irish pirate. You want to talk about Mega that, Upload? No. no. All right. Every time right. I see Mega Upload, I just think Here it's like go. it's got one extra syllable. It should be like Everybody should take a moment and just watch that music video. No. And, uh, no, it's awful. Let's talk about Mega Upload. By the way, all this stuff, like no gadget news, oh, just no all like policy yeah. and yeah. Like, Was education. Was there gadget news this week? No. No. God, I'm still on the Dude, this is the week after CS. People are like, finally I can talk about SOPA. <laughs> All right, go ahead, go. Come on, Mega Upload. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm so Mega to, Upload is this joke of a company. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, I have to have a sip sure. of. Um, Can I just read this press? Rienzi Pura, for the best taste. When Seven individuals and two corporations lot. have been charged in the United States with running an international oh organized criminal enterprise, allegedly responsible for massive worldwide online piracy of numerous types of copyrighted works through MegaUpload.com and related sites generating more than $175 million in criminal proceeds and causing more than half a billion dollars in harm to copyright owners. That's the opening line from the Justice Department. Yeah, I will call the opening salvo. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, why did they just use Dropbox? So Mega Upload is this. <laughs> why did they just use Rapid Share? <laughs> so you know the thing, the really crazy thing about SOPA is that all this protest happened yesterday. The law seems to be on the decline. And then yeah. today, the Justice Department and the FBI announced that they've they've seized uh, 18 domain names uh, of Mega Upload. They arrested the founder, a man named Kim.com. Yep, that's his uh, they, given, they arrested him in New Zealand. Given name. Uh, they, co- they got New, New Zealand authorities, cooperated with the FBI, and arrested him and, and three other of Mega Upload executives. Three other racketeers. Three other... That would be an amazing movie, by the way, The Racketeer. Like The Rocketeer, but... With, never mind. Anyway. Uh, the racket, racket, you can call somebody a racketeer. Is there a movie called The Racketeer? That's The Rocketeer. The Rocketeer. Oh, but there's a racketeer movie. There might be. What was the Johnny Depp one? Uh, in black, black and white. Blow. Oh, that's about that's about um, Ed Wood, the director. No, 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 no. Where he's a racket. He's like got the the guns and the he's stealing things. I anyway, have no idea so uh, <laughs> three other. Oh, oh, Public Enemy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, as about, he's got the guns and he's stealing things. Is that about Dillinger? <laughs> yeah, it's about yeah. Dillinger. Okay, whatever. Uh, whatever three other mega upload executives are referred to by the Department of Justice as at large. And if you're an at large internet company executive, that's just sad. You're like I had to, I had to uh, close up my <coughs> foldable keyboard. Yeah. And uh, I put away you know, my laptop, you know I my, ether, my spool remember, Ethernet remember cable, all these and get companies all, go were on the like run. incorporating on like their own nations and like those floating like like yeah. a yeah, repurposed yeah, yeah. Isn't that oil Peter platform? Thiel? Isn't that his Peter, thing? Yeah, he's all about. He's a, I want to start a, a floating nation. Yeah, um, we need our own country. So each of the individuals really face <laughs> a maximum. <laughs> where we could. Copy whatever we want. <laughs> copy all the network television bring, we need. I'll like, bring a box set oh, of HBO no, like, like, DVDs, like, and we'll just make a repeat. Like, oh, uh, you think it's ille- it's legal here? Pirate Bay is totally legal in our country, so I don't know what the problem yeah. is. The individuals each face twenty years in prison on charge of comp- conspiracy to commit racketeering. Wow. Five years on charge of conspiracy to commit copyright infringement. Another twenty years on conspiracy to commit money laundering. And five years each on... And, and I read that they're they're considering adding additional uh, penalties for that video that they made. <laughs> yeah. so they made Another 50 it. years of putting out that video. <laughs> and 50 years uh, they, they made plus. A, they made the, a movie in 1929 called The Racketeer. Oh, good. Would that be in cre- Creative Commons? Wouldn't it be crazy yeah. if Johnny Depp were in that movie and he's a sort of weird vampire? 95 years for that movie, by the way. Shoot. Yeah, so close. Uh, <laughs> I was, just, I was just about to copy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the police are outside. No, I, have a, I have a legal copy of it already, but I was about to duplicate. I it. was given the racketeer as a gift. I was gonna. I was about to. I, I was. Gonna, I was given this torrent of the racketeer as a gift. No, I was given the DVD, but, but I lost it. I was holding down option. Hey, what happens if you say that somebody gave you the? What happens if you say somebody gave you a DVD as a gift? But you lost it in your home somewhere, but you know it's there. When they try to, no. but they try to ding you for copying something. Yeah, you go to jail. It's definitely in my. I just don't know where it is. It's under the couch, maybe. I so don't I know. So I had to tour it. It could be maybe what fellow. Is, I don't know. What is this voice? I don't know. I don't know. It's a guy. It's a guy who's trying to seem like totally wait, innocent. So I don't. I honestly don't know where. In it went. Re- retaliation for for the department. Wait. Of so justice. so this all happened, and I think the really the timing of this. Wait. Being yeah. Announced can we can, I, can we just say that? Nuts. Can we talk about the elephant in the room? Yeah. yeah. There's a, no, there's a tiny elephant down here. I don't know where. No, um, sorry. This timing is bomb. <laughs> no, I don't know. You know what? No. <laughs> just give me. It's been a don't, long. Don't it's been a that. long day. Don't be that way. What is the deal can with I, this elephant? Can I just say? Uh, no. Why? My dream for this podcast now is for you to say, "Can we talk about the elephant?" In the room? <laughs> and then there's an elephant. Yeah, it'd be just, amazing. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe somebody will digitally insert it, Billy. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, yeah. That was that William, hey, right. we can just cut to a shot of an elephant. Opening after effects. Right, 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 right now, he's digitally Wait, inserting it. I don't speed. need to do this. Okay, hold on. Do Guys. some TriCaster magic. Here's what I want to talk about. Wow, that worked. That really worked. <clears throat> so, just like I feel like it's the worst, and maybe you're getting to this. I don't want to preempt yeah. your awesome moment, but mm. I'm going to do it anyway. Do it. it. Is the it's like the best argument against SOPA. Oh, like absolutely. If, if, this if, if pirate or if people, yeah, it was in your thing. If pirating is so bad, and you can go get the pirates. Why do we need SOPA? Like you got them yeah. in New Zealand. You didn't get you didn't get them because they were in Kentucky. Yeah. Like you were like he finally set foot on American soil. We can have them. It's like if you're in problem with foreign sites, foreign sites, you can apparently shut them down, mm-hmm. and you can go get the people yeah. who are responsible. And this list of countries that is um, that helped. It's basically. almost like the Department of Justice is this is their subtle way of speaking out against SOPA. It kind of is. They're like, oh, you can't get them. Well, <laughs> let me show you something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, the United States, obviously, New Zealand. Uh, 
New Zealand again, another New Zealand agency, Me? Hong Kong, London, Australia, Canada, and the Netherlands and Germany. Are you just listing countries? These now? are all the companies that participated in the Let's Get Mega <laughs> Upload effort. Wow, if only we had some kind of international coordination, we could finally put a stop to piracy. I mean, I think they just want to go after China. Isn't that what they want to do? Mm, they want to go after Sweden. I, there are sites. Sweden is a whole really the pirate want party to go after in Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. It's like a big deal. But there's um, a religion now, too. So I was going to join that religion. What really? is it? I'm like, I've never really... What, like, do, they, what do they stand a, for? It's a file sharing religion. There, it's a file sharing What's their, Who's their guy? I don't know, but you, you could probably extrapolate. What like, kind of deity? <laughs> they probably view sharing of files as like a... Like Let's a, find out. Is a... Uh, let me go on the biggest copyright infringer in the world. Is Julian Assange involved Ooh. in any way? Like, do I have to pray to him? Is there going to be any... Billy, weird? I don't see an well, elephant on the screen. Speaking of Julian Assange. Yeah, great uh, segue. Oh, speaking of Assange. Yeah. Anonymous went after. Oh yeah, great segue. Department to Anonymous, of, Department of Justice, because they were so pissed. So, so Department of Justice went after the mega upload guys. Which, by the way, um, like Anonymous, I feel like no, no, no. They went after copymism. Department of that's what it's called. Copymism. Cop copymism. I said Department of Justice. No, you said they went after mega. No, upload. I said because of mega. Upload. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. Um, I, and I feel like, you know, Anonymous, I'm not going to knock you, you know, because you'll destroy my life. <laughs> That's right. You're great. I love you. I think you guys would keep on keeping on. But I do think Mega Upload, not great company to keep, maybe. Have no. you been to Mega Upload? Terrible recently? company to keep. And but I very, will say, but very useful if you're. These activities by Anonymous as well, it's like, who cares, dude? You took on Whoa. Universal Music Group's Nilai website. Nilay Patel, Nilay at the Verge. I've got nothing else to say. Uh, <laughs> no, look, it's, it's, we have to grow up. Yes. Like, we have to. Like, yeah. you can't. Well, that doesn't help. This doesn't yeah. win. Well, Anonymous doesn't care about growing up. I mean, Anonymous just wants anarchy, man. Mm -hmm. They're like the Joker. <coughs> but this isn't. Like, no, it's like the, the Department of Justice made this great statement. It's like, look, we already have the legal authority to shut down yeah. pirates. We can do this. And then Anonymous. The baddest is, of the bad. Anonymous is like, dude, guys. We could freak out and mess people up and make everybody in Congress that is already scared of the yeah. internet more scared of the internet. Well, no, right. and that's but that's like it, you didn't engage. Like you forgot to engage like what the if, system. What if anonymous is paid by the MPAA? What if? Yeah, you know, it's actually. <laughs> What if the um, Universal Music Group just turned off its own website? Actually, you know, now that, now that you mention it, <laughs> wait a second. They're, they're like, dude. And then they go to Congress, guys, guys, guess what happened? These guys you know in masks showed up. I have to say something. If Anonymous were as serious about their conspiracy theories as they say they are, they might think for a second, yeah. why wouldn't look, look, some of this stuff at, be started the, the, exactly for that reason? Exactly for that reason. Why wouldn't some of this stuff. the Anonymous mask next to you. Yeah. And, like, and the Guy Fox and Max. What do you see? Year. What do you see looking what back? See? Is it the MPAA? It's Kim.com. Is it the DOJ? I mean, it is a good point though. If is that guy wearing a well? When you think about suit? when you think about a proper conspiracy, yeah. the true conspiracy lies where you least expect it. Yeah. Also lies where you least expect it. That's a great tagline for this movie, by the way. <laughs> the true conspiracy lies where you least expect it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. And that place, that, that place is you. No, that place. <laughs> No, but we, we got the double meaning right with the, the lies. Are, lies. Those are lies where you least where expect you it. Where you least expect it. The true conspiracy lies where you least expect it. You, and you think there needs to be a beat in the second. Is part. the movie called Inside? Is the movie called in, The movie's called True in, Conspiracy. Inside. No, it's called Inside. Yeah. Inside. Yeah, because it's an inside job. <laughs> and the and the, the hero the hero is the villain, and the villain is the hero. Wait, if the, who's I, also a villain? I think we should give up now. <laughs> No, so. no. I think we're just getting started. <laughs> I think this is good. I, I know yeah. we're just getting started, and that's what's good. What was the tagline? <laughs> Lie, true conspiracy lies where you, you least, least expect it. It's good, man. It's <laughs> solid gold. I don't care what anybody says. And just to say, like, I do think Anonymous, take a look in the mirror. Take off the I, mask first, and I then like, check I that like, you're the person you think you are, because you may be somebody I else. I like if the movie is called... <laughs> I like that would be movie, a scary part of the movie, too. If the movie's too. called True Conspiracy, and then the sub, oh, sub, sub line is lies where you least expect it. Yeah. Oh, the, that's good, too. Just lies where you least expect it. Really, I can't yeah. believe you're No, but that's, that, you, need to say, you need to say, no, because if you just say lies where you least expect it, it's just that one meaning. If you say no, the no, truth. No, 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 Oh, how about the truth, li the truth lies where you least expect it? Huh? Think yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think there'd be a great scene in the movie, which is I just the movie described. Is called True Conspiracy? Is that what no, I, it's Inside is what it's inside. called. Inside. But the, the line was True Conspiracy. The True Conspiracy lies really expected. True expect Conspiracy it. all by itself. Is yeah, that's good great. too. That's really good <laughs> on its own. Um, but, but then there's a scene in the movie 
where... Guys, can we just talk about the elephant? <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, by the way, I, I just want to say, you know, we talked about... It took a, five minutes of technical work to get this, this elephant up on the screen. We talk, the we talk a lot about domain so names that we haven't this. yet purchased. This made the video podcast worth it for me. But I, I own elephantnames.com. Yes. And I... And I renewed it this year. Yeah, nice. You know, I just paid 20 bucks to renew netbooknudes.com. You know, it'd be cool as if Elven Names was like one of the sites in the movie about the conspiracy. Ooh. You know, it seemed innocuous, but like there was a code. Oh, it's you, like, you it's like, like a... iHeartBees or whatever that. Remember right, right. That when the Halo, they, they had that like weird website where you have I those. I don't know. What's it called? Yeah, we should wrap up. Yeah, bees. What is that called? Truth Lies Release Expected. Yeah. The it's, Truth it's Lies. Amazing. I don't have any, nobody's told me about the bees yet. And yeah, what are you talking about in Ustream? Yeah. Bees. What's this? Hey. Oh, look at that. I, I love bees. Are you I'm going to have this queued up all the time. An alternate reality game. They had a subliminal message in the Halo 2 trailer, and there was a website, and then you could dive into it, and you could learn about bees. <laughs> yes, you could learn about bees. Okay, well, that's our Vergecast for the week, our podcast of the week. Uh, that was nuts. If you want to get in touch with us, yeah, I think that we, there's, a, there's an electricity in this new room. I mean, yeah. it's also, there's also a buzzing sound. I think yeah, it's yeah. electricity. There's an incredible amount of heat. But uh, no, it's not that bad. Yeah, do you guys have air in this new studio? No. No air? Seriously? Are you kidding me? Is this some sort of crazy joke? Billy. WTF. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the elephant, bro. <laughs> Thanks for this very comfortable temperature uh, room. Named Snickers. <laughs> Uh, are you sure? I'd check that out on elephantnames.com. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's our, should give that's our show for the week. If you want to get in touch with us, you can email us at podcast at theverge.com or you can leave a comment on the post when it goes up or you can um, find us on Twitter. I'm Joshua Topolsky. Neelai is Reckless. Paul is Future Paul. By the way, I'm such an odd man out with a, with a real name. Yeah. You guys are all funky. Uh, the Verge is at Verge and uh, we'll be back next week with more podcasty goodness. Um, chocolate on the outside, something crunchy in the middle, maybe a little nougat. Snickers. No, what no is nuts. Nougat? Does no anybody nuts. know what nougat um, is? Nougat is like, um, it's like a, a marshmallow whip. It's like a soy whip. It's a soy marshmallow combo. Nougat is soy? Nougat, I'm not making that up. I have no idea what nougat yeah. is. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll be back next week. And uh, until well, then. Next on The Verge, February 10, I want to say. Oh, I should talk about it. Yeah, we do, of course, we're doing On The Verge, our um, midday late night talk show <laughs> our early evening late night talk show yeah uh and we'll be back on february 10th february 10th where we'll announce we'll have guest stuff and some other things coming up but that's when to get ready for it yeah. uh here in 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 the delicious and also educational new york city um i don't know i was delicious and it does smell like subway in the studio i will say that i don't oh yeah i guess it does a little bit that's yeah. disgusting not the subway <laughs> a subway <laughs> yeah the restaurant the restaurant well i i think you calling it a restaurant is a little bit <laughs> a little bit generous we're never going to be sponsored by subway though. it's a little generous that's i mean but would we i don't know maybe if maybe if i lost the a ton subway of weight demo? if i lost a ton of weight on the diet and you're just constantly holding yeah, drugs like, <laughs> i get a, i get a subway all the time hero. i got like buddies over there mm, not my not my thing not into it. Anyhow, we got to wrap up. So thanks for uh, listening. Light. And as always, I wish uh, all the best to you and yours. And uh, rock and roll. I'll come to your house. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the elephant in the room? Can we talk about the elephant in the room? All right. That's it. Rock and roll. Good night.